Hey, what's up YouTube? My name's Cameron Doherty here with another tech video. And today, I'm gonna to be reviewing what I think might be the best mouse ever made. This is the Logitech MX Master 3. And it has some absolutely incredible features, including one that you truly have to see to believe. So make sure you stick around for that. But first, let's talk about design. The MX Master 3 is an ergonomic shaped mouse. And for me, it fits my medium sized hand absolutely perfectly. If you saw our previous video looking at the Logitech mouse and keyboard, that one did not fit my hand at all. I wound up having to kind of claw to make it work or have my hands, my fingers overhang the front. This one instead cups my hand perfectly. I can have full range of motion. I'm completely supported in all areas. The only thing I'd say that is a little bit less than desirable is how these two fingers kind of bunch up on one another in order to not rub on the table. But otherwise, everything else is absolutely flawless and absolutely perfect. Beyond the basic ergonomics into the design and the functionality, there's obviously your two primary left and right keys. These have uh, normal sounding clicks It's nothing like the whisper quiet on other Logitech devices, but also it's not an obnoxiously loud click. I'd say it's average. The click wheel is very interesting and we'll get to that in detail, uh, but it is a nice silver metallic that I think looks great and is has some really interesting features about it. In addition to the main uh, wheel, there is also a horizontal one on the side and this is primarily used for horizontal scrolling so that you can go up and down on a document or a spreadsheet or whatever it is you're working on in addition to going left to right but there's also app specific functions that can be used so if you're working in photoshop you can use it to magnify or zoom out or you can set it to adjusting your brush size there's different functions depending on which program and it'll automatically switch based on which program is open on the screen at that time. That's one of the most interesting features that this mouse has. In addition to that, there is a back and forward side button uh, and one last button that's kind of hidden down at the bottom here on the flat portion. And what this does is enables gesture controls. This is something that I'm not a huge fan of. I haven't gotten a lot of use out of. I've actually turned it off on most of my devices. But the, the intention is that much like when you would two finger swipe on a touchpad, you can push down on this with your thumb and gesture to the left or to the right, up, down, and have that control functions that are user configurable. So I think there's a lot of promise. I like that there's innovation in that way taking place in mice. But for me, it wasn't necessary. I didn't need it, and so it hasn't been of, of big use to me. The only button that I didn't mention at the top here uh, is by default used to control the function of the scroll wheel, uh, but it is also user configurable. So you could even have it where when you push that button, it triggers a screenshot to take place. Uh, there's a lot of customization that's available through Logitech software on this mouse. On the bottom, we have the on-off switch and the pairing button, which we'll get into in detail in a moment. And the only other piece is for charging. This does have a rechargeable lithium ion battery. It is charged by USB-C, which is awesome. As that's becoming more and more prevalent now, you'll be able to charge this uh, along with so many other devices and not have to worry about having a specific cable for this. So that's the overall basics of the mouse. And now why is it that this is the best mouse that I've ever used? And so I think number one, you need to understand that this mouse is targeted for productivity. Uh, this is could be used for gaming, would be a great gaming mouse, but that's not the sole purpose of this. This is designed for somebody that wants to master their workflow. And the first way that that starts is, as I mentioned, with program specific controls. So having the ability to have your left, right scroll and your forward and backward buttons 
act differently depending on which program you're using lets you bounce from one to the other and have the ultimate ability to control that program. The gesture controls are another way that this mouse makes for ultimate productivity. Like I said, it's a little bit more than I need with my workflow, but it's something that if you want the ultimate in being able to customize and have more options available to you, then being able to swipe, being able to push forward while using that gesture control is something that really unlocks a lot of possibilities. The next thing is around pairing. So this is not a single device pairing. This has the ability to pair to three different devices simultaneously and can switch between them with a simple click of a button. And so with one click, I can move from device one, two, three. And then as I'm on number three, if I press and hold, you'll see it start to blink. This means that it's in pairing mode and whichever device you pair now will become device number three. So for me, this is an incredibly uh, efficient way of working with my workflow as I have a work computer, I have a personal computer, I also have a personal desktop. And so I can have those connected to the same uh, monitor as I turn one off and turn the other on, a simple click and I'm on to the other device. This makes this mouse incredibly easy to transition between multiple devices. The final thing that I wanted to highlight, which is my absolute favorite thing and something that I could not comprehend from anybody's documentation, from the website advertising the mouse, uh, I think it's a you have to see it to believe it sort of thing, and that's the scroll wheel. And this scroll wheel is fascinating. They advertise that it can scroll a thousand lines in one second, that it's 90% faster than, than traditional mice, and that it's 87% more precise, all while being ultra quiet. And so how the heck does it do that? And so the answer really is magnets. And so there is a magnetic system underneath the scroll wheel which controls the resistance and rather than a traditional mouse where you actually have physical kind of plastic on plastic clicking going on as you scroll, this one is actually generated by the magnets themselves kind of artificially, which means that it can actually just scroll completely freely uh, without any resistance whatsoever. And the amazing thing of what they've been able to accomplish is the fact that they've allowed you to do both. They've allowed you to have a slow click as you scroll at a normal speed, followed by a completely limitless spinning as you speed, as you scroll quickly. And you can see it is still spinning. It just now came to a stop. It's incredible when you need to go all the way to the bottom of a document and when you just give it one flick and down it goes. And sometimes your computer will take a second to catch up, but at the same time, the ability there, rather than having to go over and over and over and over again to get to the bottom of something, uh, is just an incredibly new way to navigate around a document on your computer. So whereas before, you would never want to sit there and scroll on the scroll wheel for ages and ages, you would definitely wind up clicking and dragging down a, a, a scroll, we, scroll window or uh, some other way of getting to the bottom of a document or getting to what you're looking for. Now you have this option to just, with one flick, go up or down your document and you can just stop it wherever you wind up or wherever you need to go. And the combination between having that incremental, precise, easy to manage clicking with the quick spinning is something that I never thought I was going to enjoy as much as I do. And that alone makes this mouse the best mouse I've ever used. The, the scroll wheel by itself is incredible. When you factor in all of the other functionality here, this becomes truly, I think, an unbeatable package I don't know that they're going to be able to do much better other than making incremental changes to this in the future. For right now though, I think if you're willing to spend the $99 price tag to get the MX Master 3, you absolutely should. 
Uh, if you work in a productive environment, if you're doing video editing, if you're doing coding, if you're doing uh, any sort of business work, where you're working in Excel, where you're working in PowerPoint, where you're working in Word documents or other creative, uh, creative suites, then this is an incredible mouse and I really don't think you can beat it. So I appreciate you listening. Thank you for watching so much. Uh, if you enjoy what you see, remember that the likes are free and the subs don't cost anything either. And I will catch you in the next one.